Hey guys, it's Elisa, and today I have a book review. I am going to be reviewing a young adult book. I know I have not done a lot of book reviews, and I'm sorry for that. I am trying to work on that. Um, and yeah, I will, of course, have a book haul coming up as well. I was going to wait until the end of the month, but because of my trip, I think that's going to be a little hard to try to pile all of that up. I was going to wait and do the book haul all together with the books that I buy on my trip because there's this bookstore that I love to go to when I go visit Austin. Well, quite a few bookstores that I like to go to when I go visit Austin. Um, and that's Austin, Texas. <laughs> and um, I was going to wait for all of that, but I think I'll just do a book haul for the month of March since I have not done one at all for you guys. I... Well, I know I've had some that I posted like at the beginning of the month, but those are for books that I bought in February. I've not done one for the month of March, but I will. I think I've purchased like seven and that's like a surprise. Like I really haven't purchased books. Like I did buy, no, never mind. I was like, I did buy some for my cousins, but those were actually, I purchased them in the month of February, but I didn't give it to them until yesterday. So that's why I thought I bought them this month, but no, bought maybe like seven books, give or take. I think I need to buy more. Oh my gosh, I'm giving myself this like, wow, anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. Let me go ahead and get into it. So I decided to do a book review today on The Gates of Paradise by Melissa De La Cruz. I really, really love this book. I love this series. Like, I, I love all seven books and the novellas, um, two novellas and, well, I should say, like, one, but, and the books of Repository, the Keys to the Repository book. Like, I enjoyed that because it did include some of the short stories from some of the characters, like Dylan and them. But this book was so good. I was so scared of you guys have noticed in past videos about reading this series. Like, I was very hesitant. I did not want it to end. I was afraid that it was going to be... I wasn't going to like it. And I didn't want to be upset with this story since I spent so many years with it. Um, but I, I wasn't disappointed at all. I went through so many emotions in this book. I teared up. I, I don't want to say that I cried. I did get teary-eyed and say why and tears did kind of roll down my face, um, but just a little bit. <laughs> if you guys don't know what the Blue Blood series is about, it is about vampires that are, that did fall from grace. They were angels, um, so there is things that happen with like Lucifer and they kind of recycle. Um, they're blood is blue <laughs> and around the age of like 15 16 they start remembering their past lives um there is the main character who is Skylar Van Allen who is the exception of that rule um and you find out that she's actually a half blood she is half human half vampire so there's not a lot that you like she's kind of new to this whole type of thing she has no back life to kind of look after. I mean, a lot of these people that she goes to school with, uh, such as like Mimi and Jack and Bliss, who are also blue blood, have a history with each other. You know, they, they know all these languages and histories and it's just, it's interesting how it all revolves. It all takes place, um, one of the first couple of books, like in, in New York, their high society. Um, all the Blue Bloods are, tend to be very high society people. Um, there is a baddie who is after them that they thought they got rid of back in the time of, like, Rome. But they were wrong, basically. Um, and you, it goes from there, it evolves on the stories. Um, I like how towards... I can't remember what book it is, maybe four or three. It starts kind of interchanging between characters. With this book, it is the last one. I don't want to give too much away, but I did really enjoy it for the people that have read this. 
the read the series, I mean, not this book in particular, but if you've read the series, like if you've read all six books, this book is amazing. I enjoyed it. I love how it went between Skylar's point of view, Mimi's, and Bliss's. So you kind of got a whole circle of what was happening with everybody. So there, you know, you knew things about Kingsley and Jack and Oliver and Lawson. If you do read, if you do read the first six books of it, I hope you guys read Wolfpack, which is the story like in between the kind of little spinoff with like bliss and stuff um so there's information on Lawson in here as well and then you get more insight to Skylar's like other half of her family that they never like bring up or anything like that so I a lot of those questions that I've, I've always had are answered this book I did give it five out of five stars it was action-packed um it was gut-wrenching it was amazing it was I oh, I don't know what to say it has its funny parts just like any Melissa de la Cruz book um, so I did you know basically go through all the feels and I loved the ending like the last two chapters oh my god I was not seeing that and I have no idea if there is a hint in the other books like in I don't know, book one through six, if there's any any little hint, which I don't remember, maybe there was a hint in book one or book two that this is going to happen or this is what someone was wishing, <laughs> I should say, but wow, I, wow, that's all I can say, like, I literally went, like, teary-eyed and then happy and ecstatic and then, like, super surprised, like, it was, I loved it. For the 355 pages this book has, yeah, the 355 pages, like, you don't think that there's enough time or that it was gonna go too fast. I, I was kind of scared, like, I was, like, reading it the first couple chapters and I was just like, are they just, are they gonna do this to me where they're just gonna kind of go slow and then bam, ending, have a nice day, thanks for reading, like, type of situation. But luckily it wasn't, it was something that, that closed everything together like there is no questions at all about the characters the only one that i have is because they are blue bloods and you know that they kind of recycle like is there going to be another like recycling with these characters <laughs> i would really really love that i would really enjoy it this book oh my god I was so happy that I read it I was sad that I read it so fast but I just I had to know like I had to know what was going on I read this in a day and I want to reread the whole series like I want to read books one through seven back to back just to see if I can guess I mean I already know all the answers right of what's gonna happen but I want I want to know if there was hints of what was gonna lead to the ending like if if I would have just read it more carefully what I've already known the ending that's what I'm super curious about but if you guys have not picked up the Blue Blood series by Melissa de la Cruz I hope you do it is an amazing series it's one of my favorites um about it I it's about vampires but it I also deals again like I said with fallen angels like the fallen angel aspect of it so that so yeah so I, I hope you guys really pick it up um if you haven't already, it's a great series. I love everything that Melissa de la Cruz writes, but yeah, five stars. Loved it. Worth it. Totally worth it. I hope you guys like this review. I hope you really do pick up the Blue Blood series. If you have read it, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've already read Gates of Paradise. What did you guys think about where some of the characters Happily Ever Afters ended up at? the ones that did go ahead and have one, like how that made you feel and everything. I'm curious to know. I wish I had someone that read the series that I can go ahead and kind of talk to about this series. So if you've read it, please let me know. I would really, really love to talk to someone about it. Anyways, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.